if you, if you had a billion dollars cash sitting in this room, and Daniel said to come in each day and take one million dollars, come on, yeah, I told you to take one million dollars a day to spend that one billion. If you spend one million a day to spend one billion, how many days does it take you to spend that much money? I'm not good at math. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you a real right on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the nose. I need to so, calculate. So if I told her to come in and spend one million dollars a day, okay, a day, and to spend one million dollars, it would take her over a thousand days to spend that money. So, so if, you, if you had a billion dollars sitting in Daniel's office, and it would fill up this office, and you come in every day, take a stack of hundred dollar bills, totaling one million a day. Go to Vegas, come back every day. It would take you 1,000 days to spend that money. And Bill Gates is worth 53 billion, okay? You know how much money he had? So, so I'm, I'm telling you that there's a lot of problems on FICO. There's a lot of problems with FICO. So if there's 1.5, according to Fair Isaac, 1.5 billion calls a day, or each person complaining five times a day on average, or something my report. Don't you see what the population growth that we're going to have some serious problems in the future? Rep, there's something wrong with that number. You're saying it's 300 million people. Right. Each person calls five times. On a average. So you're saying every person in the population calls. FairIsaac.com. Go to FairIsaac.com. It's there. See, uh, it, it, this is just an average number, guys, okay? I'm not saying that you're calling five times. You may be calling 15 times. You may be calling zero. You may be calling two times. All right? But I'm saying it's on a general blanket average. FairIsaac says there's a lot of problems with. With this, it's, it, it sounds unbelievable, but it's, it, it, it's very much it's true. Yeah. Lewis is saying it seems true. like too many calls. <laughs> well, again, it's not just phone calls; it's emails, it's faxes, it's letters, it's certainly it's you know verbal communication. One, you know, so it, it's a combination of all of those. Okay, and why it has picked up because of email technology, as well. Is it because three um, three bureaus? So that's why you know. Yeah. Call each yeah. Bureau one no. time, then the other right. This is by the way. Thank you. This is all three bureaus combined. Okay, not not each. Okay, this is combined. That's a slow day, by the way. Okay. Chris was, he, he probably goes up. So again, just a statistic that there are success, okay, that it, it's a problem. Now, what happens with all this, according to Fair Isaac, 82% of the country has got okay to really bad credit. Go home tonight, eight of your 10 neighbors have bad credit. 80% of this room has got okay to bad credit. Okay, mid 600s or less, bad under 500, 550, okay. Um, 79% of the time, there are inaccuracies on people's reports. Part of that 1.5 billion. Okay. Wouldn't it be great if we could find out the average uh, credit score in Saratoga? Well, um, I mean, sure. Where, yeah. where is yeah. this? Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean if, if you, where are they? Yeah, if you, if you, uh, if you, um, you know, hired. Uh, the three bureaus to pay them. You know, Mark helps you do that all the time when he buys information from the bureaus that they can give you a rough average. You know, and, and, and location, location really doesn't really make a difference. I mean, Blackhawk, which is one of the highest income areas in, in, in the United States, you know, the average income is what, 250, 257 a year. And majority of the, I have a lot of clients that have bad credit. But they make so much money that they work, you know, 25 hours a day, nine days a week. They travel so much that they, don't, they can't pay the bills on time. Love so, doctors. He's a bookkeeper. Love doctors have bad credit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, hell yeah! I take that back. Double hell yeah. See, so, so part of the uh, the inaccuracies is seventy nine percent. Eight times out of ten, you know, there, there's okay to uh, a lot of mistakes on the report. Now, how can you minimize this seventy nine percent? How can you be make sure that eighty percent of the time something inaccurate is not going to show up on your report by checking your credit frequently for accuracy? Okay, who in this room has not seen your credit in more than one year? Anyone else? Two years or more? And how can you have seen your credit in more than a year? Bad. Yeah. Because things can change in two days, guys, let alone two years. Things can change. I mean, you might have an 800 credit score today and have bad credit next week because you might have just filed bankruptcy for all I know. Say so think mistakes. So uh, I recommend check your credit four times a year or once a quarter for accuracy. I like I like that I like that service like myfico.com because they offer like a monitoring service and it's like a, like nine ten bucks a month or 120 bucks a year you get unlimited credit check access and, and anything negative about to hit your report even sends a text to your cell phone for free saying something Wednesday morning's about to hit your report especially if you have a common last name so check your credit frequently for accuracy I check my monthly to be sure you gotta check it 
make sure it's accurate. Because mm -hmm. again, if you think you have a 755 credit score and Fred hasn't seen his credit report in two years, he goes back for a refinance and says, the lender says, no, Fred, it's 615. What happened? Why drop 160 points? Well, I pay off my bills on time, never late in my life. Again, they run his credit because the last name is Smith, for example. He's got several accounts that are not his and drop down his score. Now, if he checked it quarterly, four or five times a year for accuracy, he can make sure this stuff's not on there before he does a refinance. Robert, you purchase. Is there a single place that will do all three bureaus for unlimited for a flat? MyFICO.com. Does all three bureaus? Yeah. What's the annual credit report.com? They're almost the same. Annual credit report, it's actually on the second to the last page of my packet. Annualcreditreport.com has a lot of holes in their, in their checking, but once per calendar year, it's uh, entitled to a free copy of the report at no charge. One uh, my uh, charge you can naturally. Yeah, that's how they make their money. But this is right there, it's a good site. You can order a three in one with scores. Dan, uh, Dan, scroll up a little bit, will you? Or down? So now you can do one time three in one, but perpetual three in one access? Because I know that. Uh, you know, they run you check a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I pay about 100 bucks, 120 bucks a year, just gets billed on my credit card. And by the way, when you use the site to check your own credit, it's a soft hit. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will not hurt your credit. So you can run it 88 times a day or 80, 80, 80 100 times a day. It would do nothing to your credit. Okay. Only if VBA runs it, Wells Fargo pulls it, Capital One pulls it, the auto dealership pulls it, brokers pull it. That's a hard hit. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. But when you use like annualcreditreport.com, myfico.com, uh, TrueCredit.com. Those are always soft hits. There are three bureaus. Why is there so much difference sometimes? In uh -huh. the score? It always is. The funny, what Fred was saying is that why is there always a difference in the different FICO scores? Why does one say 790 one can say 699? It's based on the capture system of the bureaus. In fact, if you went down the street today and went to 10 different banks and ran 10 different credit reports at the same time, you get 12 different answers. It happens. Because based on what the, that bank uses, uh, Washington Mutual uses Pyramid to pull the reports. I use Coral Factual Data. Uh, there's CBC Innovus. There's a whole bunch of them that are out there. Okay? And it's all based on the capture system, meaning this. Let's say you have three credit cards, Wells Fargo Bank, Bank America, Citibank, and U.S. Bank, for example. And let's say with each one of these things, you have two links each on each one of those credit cards. Old or new, I don't care. And if one bank's access has, you know, checks your credit, and let's say this other bank does it, other bank does it, other bank does it, they each check your credit. Based, based on the sophistication of their software from that third party access, they capture these lights. For example, you may go to B of A, they may capture only these two lights. You may go to this bank, they may capture all the lights. You may go to the last bank, they may only capture these two lights, causing an a, a seesaw balancing effect of the credit score. That's why it's happening, it depends on the capture system. It's like saying if you, if you have a, a, a lamp, there's a long wire to the wall, that's a good connection. But I unplug it, chop it up three times, and tape it back together, the current is not going to run correctly through those wires. So in a way of speaking, it's all chopped up based on the connection to the three bureaus capturing scores. That's why there's always a, a difference. Always a difference, right? Always, always, always. I've never seen all three scores the same. I've seen two of the three the same, but never seen all three. It's never, it never happened. It could, but I doubt it. All right. As he says, 647, 647, 703. That's a possibility. But that's why it's like, kind of like a seesaw effect, and that's why they're, you're trying to you know, fix this loop right here. There's a, connect, there's a connectivity problem. So even though the algorithm itself is the same, it's the capture that makes it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like they're trying to capture the lights on this one, but doesn't, it only stops right there. Which is a good thing, you know, but but again, you go to ten different banks, you'll get ten different answers. It happens all the time. Yeah, I heard that if you sign up for opt out, yeah, then you could increase your credit uh, score, and that's only opt out prescreen dot com. Pull it up real quick. That's right. Yeah, and that's that only yeah. affects um, uh, the soft hits. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, everything, everything. In fact, folks, go ahead and on my packet real quick. Turn to page three. Okay. Okay. And uh, what Daniel just brought up. Okay, you might have recalled a couple, three, two, three years ago. Remember, you can opt out and have your phone numbers off the do not call list on telemarketers. I hate when you're eating dinner with your kids at six o'clock. You want to buy a magazine? 